What's going on YouTube, GSNori here. In today's video, we have new tweaks available for your iOS device on iOS 18.3.2 and lower, all devices. And these tweaks are now available for you to get inside the iDevice Toolkit application. Yes, I've added more tweaks for you to get on the app and we're gonna take a look. For those of you who are unaware, I released a brand new application. It's an iOS customizer or iOS tweaks application based on the brand new iOS vulnerability by Ian Beer, the CVE 2025. 24203 that was just released. And this application, iDevice Toolkit, is free and completely open source. You can grab it on GitHub or here on my website. This is the official website for it, iDeviceCentral.com. And it supports iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 18.3.2. It doesn't work on iOS 18.4 and newer. The exploit is already patched in there. And initially I had a couple of tweaks, but I've added more tweaks for you to get. So the IPA file is available, go grab it. Let me show you the tweaks that I added. So we have in here my device, I'm gonna open the application the iDevice Toolkit. And as you can see, there's already something odd about the application. And the entire iOS operating system, in fact, is not running the default font. It's actually running a different font called Helvetica. And this one can be done with the tweaks in here. This is one of the new tweaks. You can switch now to the Helvetica font, this one over here. And these are the paths that are affected. So by zeroing these paths over here, I was able to change the font from the device to be Helvetica. And we might be able to do more fonts in the future. I'm going to actually play a little bit with it and in fact you can play with it too because there is now the create custom tweak option in here and you can play with the fonts over here you can see each font you can try to remove some of them and you can create your own tweaks go ahead and try it out. Removing the sfui.ttf would allow you to actually switch the device to a different font. So yeah, if you want to switch to Helvetica, the tweak is now available in your application. And then there's also the fully disable emojis tweak over here. This one allows you to completely get rid of emojis from anywhere. They will not appear in posts, in social media. They will not appear in the keyboard. They will not appear in messages anywhere. So as you can see, if I go here and open a text field and I go to the emojis, I do have my emojis over here. Here. But if I go here in the iDevice Toolkit, which by the way, I have reverted back to the normal font and I disable everything but the fully disabled emojis and I apply it, this is going to apply the tweak and that's it. Now, normally in this terminal window, there should have been some emojis, but as you can see, they've been replaced with the square question mark icon. If I go here in a text view, you can see that the emojis are no longer available, none of them. So you will no longer see them on social media or messages or anything. That's if you have a personal beef with uh, emojis. It was a requested tweak, so I have added it. Here's another one in the experimental tab over here called Force Reboot iOS. Now, I don't know who needs this. It's just added for fun and giggles, but um, if you actually enable this one, it will fully crash the device. You can use this as a panic button, I imagine. These are the currently available tweaks over here. More to come, but please let me know down below what kind of uh, UI tweaks would you like to see. Some of them are doable and some of them are not. And I will let you know whether what you want is possible or not. But in the next video, I'm going to bring yet another thing to the application. And the next video will actually showcase the next version of the app, which will contain a file manager. So I hope you like it. You can get the IPA here on my website. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your iOS device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, it won't turn on and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you for watching. I am GSNode. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.